welcome back to vlog number three. Three? Yeah, three. Um, I can't sleep. I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. So that's gonna be a fun time for me. Um, so I decided I'm gonna stay up and annotate my copy of Forgotten by Cat Patrick. One of my favorite reads of all time. I just can't find my yellow highlighter because this is like the closest I have to a highlighter right now and this bleeds through so bad so I'm not using that so I start to do Akatar with it and it's like so much of my stuff went missing when I just moved my arm around oh perfect well I just found this won't bleed so bad and it actually matches perfect Alright, so I've gotten to like chapter 10 so far in my reread and annotating. This is what we look like so far. Um, this is my page with like my outline thing. It's like my head's pounding. I know I need to be sleeping. I can't sleep. I can't help it. It is what it is. Um, I'm watching Lachlan right now, trying to, like, get my mind to, like, not think about the headache. I took some Tylenol. Nothing is helping. Tomorrow morning's gonna be so fun. Alright, so I finished annotating this, and it was actually so much fun. Um, like, they're so satisfying to look at. Um, so I'm gonna put my stuff away. I still can't sleep. So this is gonna be a long, fun night. And, um, the trash truck just came for my next door neighbor, which it happens to be a, um, car lot. So when you hear the dumpster at night, you hear bang, bang, bang. And, um, now my first thumbs up. So that's, what what's it with me and the thumbs up? What is it with me? Alright, so I've been reading this book for, like, the last two of my reading vlogs, and look how much of a dent I just made into it. Compared to where I was last vlog, it's Veronica Roth, Chosen Ones. I'm finally starting to get back into it. I think I, I think I just needed to get out of a reading slump and do exactly what I did and go back to something I love and read it. My headache's still there, it's still pounding, so hopefully something give soon with that because I have to be up at 8.30. It is currently 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna be honest, I slept the entire day away because I have been exhausted because I'm fighting a virus off at the moment and like I'm still tired. I have not read at all today. I don't think I'm going to tonight so I will update this vlog whenever I get to feeling a little bit better. Alright, I fibbed just a little bit. I'm going to work on reading Zodiac Academy on my Kindle. Alright, so I just got chapter 5 of Zodiac Academy on my Kindle. And like, can we just talk about how pretty these chapter arts are? So I'm going to go ahead and mark my chapter that I'm on in my kindle in the book and then eventually i'll switch over to my book to be honest because i really like this and i'm starting to think that with my other book i'm just forcing myself to read at this point so i feel guilty for dnfing a couple of books so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna temporarily dnf And then, alright, here's chapter 5. Like I said, these chapter arts are so beautiful. I'm going to take my old library card, use this bookmark. Speaking of, I got a voucher for um, $100 off of $165 of wine for my birthday from um, thrift book, but, uh, I kind of feel like 
Why am I gonna spend that much money in wine? And I don't even like wine. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and annotate the ravens. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the cover off. Because like honestly, what reading books is all about is like doing things that make you happy. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, so I had to take a break from annotating because my cat was into everything, including grabbing fairy lights and trying to eat them. So I've not read no more of Zodiac Academy on either my Kindle nor my physical copy. As you guys seen, I was currently annotating my copy of The Ravens, and this is how far I've gotten with my tabs, which I need to order more tabs, so I'm going to call, well, not call right now, but like tomorrow I'm going to talk to my dad and see if he'll let me use his card to order some. It's like, I have these four and like two other ones left, and like I tend to use a lot of the same colors over and over again because, like I tend to only read like books in certain color schemes, I try to recently like matched my color schemes to like my tabs if that makes sense i don't know if why i decide makes like any sense and then this is why i use to highlight because again like number one bleeds less than a highlighter and number two is that it just makes more sense for me Um, I've had a couple people on Instagram that I've recommended this book to ask me about it. So this is what it looks like. It's called The Ravens, and it's by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. And then this is the synopsis. Feel free to pause and look at it if you need to. And I just realized this could be backwards for you guys. So, only their sisterhood can save them. At first glance, the sisters of ultra-exclusive Kaparo Nu, The Ravens, seems like the typical sorority girls. Ambitious, beautiful, and smart, they're the most powerful powerful girls on Westerly College, Savannah, Georgia campus. But the Ravens aren't just regular sorority girls, they're witches. Scarlet Winter has always known she's a witch. She's determined to be the sorority president, just like her mother and her sister before her. But in the painful secret from her past ever comes to light, she can lose absolutely everything. Vivi Devereaux has no idea she's a witch as she's never lived in one place long enough to make a friend, so she gets a coveted bid to pledge to the Ravens. She vows to do whatever it takes to be part of their magical sisterhood. The only thing standing in her way is Scarlet, who thinks that Vivi is not Raven material. 
when a wicked power rises on campus, the girls have to put the rivalry, rivalry aside to save their fellow sisters. Someone has discovered the Raven's secret and that someone will do anything to see these witches burn. And I'm currently on page 56 of my annotation journey for this book. My other two favorites are already annotated, and then a couple of my Twilights, a couple of my Crave books, as well as it ends with us and it starts with us. So yeah, that's my reading update as to where I'm at. Currently on page 152 of my reread and annotation session, and I swear I'm not crying. As you guys probably know from my previous vlogs, it's just my eye medication. Um, I went and flipped back through, so I was pretty sure the one annotation I accidentally used the wrong thing. And there's this one character that irritates my entire soul in this book. I don't want to... But yeah, I'm on page 152 at the moment, chapter 15. So far, um, this has been an enjoyable reread, and I think that I'm going to try to finish the reread tonight so I can read Lightlark and Zodiac Academy simultaneous, simultaneously, so that way I can finally, like, see what the hype is about, and I know that the author told me she was really excited for me to read it because she loves hearing good reviews about her book, and she knows it's up my alley. So, hopefully. to admit I've spent most of the night it is 2 13 in the morning annotating this book I need to put it down and work on Zodiac Academy but first bathroom trip and then I'll come back and do that accidentally woke the baby up it's okay he's cute Mommy loves you, right? I felt like a singular purr out of them. Like, yeah. Can mommy lay you down now? May I? You're getting really heavy. So I have not gotten much reading done, like, at all because I was cuddling with my cat, and of course he's trumping everything. So, I'm thinking hopefully I can start getting some done. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning right now, 
As you guys can tell, I get about as much sleep as Edward Cullen. Um, I'm going to try to get this little guy to go on a book trip with me tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. As you guys can see, I'm like barely awake at this point. It is like 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And this guy still wants to just mommy, mommy, mommy. And it's probably because you can tell I'm having a flare up. Um, I decided I'm going to read the Zodiac Academy on my Kindle and then I'm going to annotate the actual book. It just feels better that way. I don't know. But yeah, that's the plan. And I'm almost done um, doing the Ravens, like my annotation. So I can finally start my read of um, Nightbane. I think, no, not Nightbane. Um, Lightlark. Sorry, I'm looking at my bookshelf trying to think what it was called. So during that read, that's going to be exciting, and hopefully the last of my Magic Thief series gets here today, so that way I can do my What's on My Bookshelf tour, so yeah. Alright, so I got no annotating done today, except for like maybe like four tabs. I've been really enjoying the group that I made with some book friends. And I had some stuff to deal with with my cat today. He had to get dewormed. And he is 7 months old and weighs 8 pounds, which is incredible and, like, insane at the same time. Because when I got him, he was so tiny and scrawny. And now he's, like, this big old chonk. And I'm just really happy about that. Um, so I'm going to try to annotate the ravens some more and the book I was expecting did not come in today so hopefully tomorrow fingers crossed um I think that's the only update I really have all right so I'm really close to finishing this book again and finishing my tabbing she looks so pretty Like, that's beautiful. So now, I'm going to try to finish tapping this, and then I haven't really touched Zodiac Academy at this point, because, like I told you guys in one of the last clips, I'm gonna read that on my kindle and then annotate after so i'm not too concerned about that right now and then i just really want to get to the book i picked up from walmart the other day which is light lark the which is like the first of a uh of a series so far so I started Light Lark, and so far, yeah, I'm not very far in. I'm on page number five right now, but so far it's really good, and like I want to read so much more, but I'm so tired. So I don't know, I don't know yet. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna just put it down for the night, so I can enjoy it more tomorrow night or tomorrow morning, whichever happens first. Because I might go to the hospital and get my arm X-rayed. So yeah. With that being said, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm pretty sure I miss this vlog which I've been reading for the most part and like nothing really too fun or interesting and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day.